Fester's Quest for the NES, developed by Sunsoft and released in 1989. Should you play it? Now, this might surprise you, because I think you should. Just once, not more than once. I don't plan on playing it again. Fester's Quest is an infamous game. I just hit the fucking tip. Fester's Quest is an infamous game for how bad it is, especially its display on the iconic angry video game nerd on Cinema Massacre. God damn! This game better stop sucking ass or else I'm gonna have to give it the finger. The middle finger. And it's difficulty, which I mean, nah. But I'm here to say it's actually not bad and I think it's good. And I'm not being contrary either. I just genuinely find enjoyment out of this game. So let's break it down. You get this little intro cutscene, which is pretty cool looking. Title sequence, then you can start the game. Uh, and you move in four directions and shoot. Shooting enemies gives the chance of items dropping and upgrades. The items you find include money, light bulbs, and keys, things like that. The keys can be used to obtain more items. The light bulbs will light up underground areas when you explore them. And money is used to buy food to heal. You have two hit points in the beginning and then you die. Um, this part is pretty unforgiving in the fact that once you die you're reset pretty far back. But you do keep your upgrades, which is a plus. I managed to beat this game in about six hours over two sittings, and I did have to use a guide, which I will come back to later. But back to the upgrades I mentioned earlier, I I, I fooled you. I may have fibbed a little bit. I think I lied. A little, I lied a lot about the upgrades. So you know how I said they were upgrades? Well, the blue words are upgrades. Um, there are red ones that drop just as frequently, and if you pick those up, they downgrade your weapon. So if you're not paying attention, it is an RNG upgrade downgrade fest. And this is especially brutal considering the upgrades can make it significantly harder to hit things until the final upgrades. But it's pretty fun to grind in the beginning for me to get the max gun since you can. I think this is probably most people's main complaint. It's just the downgrade system and how often it happens and how frustrating it is that when you do upgrade, it's worse than what you just had. But once you understand all this, you understand the fundamentals, you can actually make some progress. And while you do, you'll likely be enjoying the music. After enough exploring, you encounter these underground areas, which lead back to the surface in an area you couldn't get to before. Continue more, and you'll find these houses. You can enter where you go into this first-person mode, which is pretty damn cool. And once you find the end, you're met with a boss fight usually, uh, back in the top-down mode of the four directions. These are definitely the hardest parts. Assuming you beat it, rinse, repeat this sort of flow until the final boss at the end of the game. This is where I had to use a guide because if there was a secret to surviving once I got to that final boss, I wanted to know it so I didn't have to redo everything I just did over again. And thanks Spot the video game I checked because there's a sneaky little spot where he's completely unable to even tickle you and you pretty much just win. And after a fucking lot of shots, I mean how the hell would you even do this normally? But once you beat the boss, you get the funny little jingle, and that's it. How much else to say? It's not bad, it's just meh. I think this game is worth playing at least once. I do recommend it. I don't intend on playing it again, but I did enjoy playing it. But I wouldn't go out of your way to seek it, I guess. If it's there, give it a shot. Give it a full run. Use a guide if you want. Who cares? I was so, so close to giving this uh, an unreasonably high score of like 7 out of 10 or something. But um, I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. <laughs> and, a, and, a, and a funny... And a, it's not funny. Just, just a dude. Just sitting there. Yeah, it's not it's not that it's not that bad. It's not as bad as the Angry Video game. Cinemask guy says it's, it's it's okay, it's fine. It's better than it's better than spot there.